people are being killed, my people are being shot by bows and arrows every day. The security situation in Karamoja continues to be a major worry for many locals and all stakeholders in the sub-region. In this week's Lake Abim, more lives continue to be lost while several herds of cattle are also raided in the process. The warriors are penetrating from all corners. The warriors are killing, the warriors are taking our properties and nothing is being done about. We have insecurity of cattle raiding, cattle rustlers, armed, illegal armed warriors. According to the leaders, the poor access road networks has been a major setback in their attempts to contain the situation. Many people were killed here. Those people coming from the market going the other side. The warriors way lay here because you are rolling the bus call or you are moving, you cannot ride very fast. The revelations came during a handover of a newly constructed road in a beam district on Tuesday. Constructed under the New York project funded by the United States Agency for International Development, the 200 million shillings access road is expected to improve not only the security but also facilitate easy access to markets and other facilities. Quite shocking because before it was when the rains were, uh, had, it had just rained. And you could see clearly the challenges that people were having with this road. You saw that uh, cars were stuck, uh, bicycles were maneuvering through a very difficult situation. There have been issues with access to services, uh, uh, specifically health, social services, as well as uh, education as part of social services. There were also issues to access markets. We have farmers that are based within um, the catchment area of uh, of this road that could not access markets to sell their produce. So this road is helping them to access services but also to improve their livelihoods. According to Olive DiMello, the current acting head of programming at Catholic Relief Services Uganda, the 7.3 kilometer road is just part of 54 kilometer roads that have been constructed in four Karamoja districts of Abim, Napak, Nakapiripirit and Nabilatuk. We are proud that we worked with the communities to plan and even during the construction of the roads. The communities provided the labor while we facilitated with the resources that we had to make sure that uh, you know, the road is constructed. In 2002, government introduced the disarmament program in Karamoja aimed at reducing unarmed conflicts and cattle rustling in the sub-region. However, according to some of the leaders, more emphasis should be paid on creation of more access roads. All this effort is not yet enough. We want the government to come in and support us fully. Even as the New York project draws closer to the end, Chip Burry, the USAID Senior Humanitarian Assistance Officer, notes that USAID will continue on other interventions in Karamoja. From one estimate, it looks like USAID is contributing approximately 62% to uh, of all the development activities that are taking place here in Karamoja. So yes, we are, we are here. Nelson Omoya, NTV.